Welcome to the Finite Math Podcast. In the last few episodes, we've looked at how to create frequency distributions or probability distributions associated with the number of hits that a player with a 280 batting average could have in a game in which he bats five times. So in this and the next uh, podcast, we want to take a look at ways of presenting and comparing the results of this information graphically. Now, to begin with, let's just create a simple column graph. So what we need to do is first highlight the data we want to graph. Done this, and then we go to the chart wizard. The default situation is a column graph. That's what we want. Subtype is the correct one. Let's go to the next one. Oops, yeah, I know go to the next one. And this shows a... Uh, what the graph should look like and we can see that it looks like we what it should look like except that the cat the x-axis down here doesn't have the right label so we need to fix those labels so let's go to the series tab and under the series tab under the, we'll select the category x-axis labels and then we'll go highlight the values that we want to appear on the label so zero to five all right now that looks a lot better Okay, we'll go to the next tab. The next tab uh, includes a lot of things that we can fix up. The title, uh, the legend. There's only one set of data here. There's no need for a legend, so we can get rid of that legend. Uh, and we might as well now finish it, and it presents the graph here. Now, what just remains to do is to clean this up a little bit so it looks presentable. One thing that we can do is to make the columns touch. That's the way a histogram should be. So I right-click one of the columns and format that and go to the options tab now you make them touch by changing the gap so i can just change that to zero and there they, they touch now uh, i don't particularly care for this gray background it's sort of hard to see so i like to right click on that format the plot area and here you can see it's got that gray background i'll just select none as the color and that gives a nice little white color and that's the uh, graph that uh, so I, I like to embed it in the worksheet so that i can present the values as well as the graph now notice if you hit the f9 function key to recalculate things the data the count data changed and the graph changed correspondingly well thanks for stopping by